General Hospital spoiler for Tuesday, April 2nd. Bridget Elizabeth Baldwin is surprised with Jason Morgan's appearance at her door. Liz finally learned that Jason was innocent of the previous attack on Dante of Connery. However, the person who is not ready to accept forgiveness for Jason is Jack Webber. Jack was quite angry when his biological father came to the house. Jack thinks Jason should go to jail instead of being able to walk freely around town like he is now. Jason explained that Jason was not the one who attacked Dante, even Dante has proven Jason innocent. But Jack won't completely believe what Jason is saying. Jack then argued that even though Jason didn't attack Dante, Jason has been gone for two and a half years. Jason will not be able to tell his son the whole truth. Jason could then only apologize to his sins. At that same time, Jason will also confirm with Jake that Jason had not done anything wrong to his relative and family. Jason promises to one day give Jake a proper answer to Jake's current question. Dan Miller asserts that if Alyssa Davis continues to try, Alyssa will regain her position as a lawyer like in the past. Of course, Dan will continue to support and help Alyssa, but Alyssa doesn't have the confidence to do that. It turns out that Nino Corrente decided to lift the invader, leaving Alyssa a bit shaken. Alyssa probably wants to stay and continue working at the invader instead of quitting. Because if Alyssa can't get her practicing certificate back in the end, the invader is still the place to help Alyssa make money. Dante will also receive a visit from his biological father, Sonny Corrento. Of course, during this visit, Sonny will not want to mention issues related to Jason, but Dante will make Jason the main point of the conversation. Dante claims Jason is innocent and that Sonny should trust Jason again. However, Sonny argued that would never happen. Sonny knew part of the truth. Sonny did not accept that Jason had been worked for the FBI all this time. That's how Jason betrayed Sonny. Of course, Dante argued that Jason could have been forced. Sonny explained that Jason is alone and that no one can force Jason to do anything. Sonny forgot that Jason also had family and friends and that Jason worked for the FBI to protect Sonny. Blaze would agree to be the new phase of deception. Of course, Brooklyn Quarterman and a few people would be happy about that. With Sasha Gilmore leaving her old job, Blaze would be the most suitable replacement. Maxie, Johns, and Lucy Co. will work together to compile a new contract for the Blaze. Of course, they also had to go through Brooklyn before passing it on to Blaze for review. Blaze could have agreed to that contract while Blaze do had the freedom to be a singer. Of course, the amount of money Blaze received would increase after doing both jobs. What is looked like Natalia Ramirez will soon cause trouble. Natalia does not agree with the salary that Blaze received. Natalia is the account manager for Blaze and Natalia wants Blaze to get more money. Finally, Valentin Gazdai interfere with Sonny bipolar disorder medication that caused Sonny to be treated properly, which also caused Sonny to have strange behavior and often have a hot temper. Valentin wants to put Sonny in jail because Valentin secretly cooperated with Bikeman and St. John Brennan. Sonny will not be aware of Valentin moves, so Sonny wills to use those ineffective bipolar disorder medication. Energy Van will begin to worry about Sonny's action, which is why Anna will warn Sonny. Anna promises to catch Sonny herself if Sonny endanger anyone around.